Yes, people, welcome back to Talking Walls. Hope you're well. Uh, we've got a bit of an update video today. As you can see, I'm at work, but I thought I'd give you an update um, on the latest transfer news over the last week or so. And, of course, Gary O'Neill's pre-match press conference as well ahead of tomorrow's game at Molyneux uh, against West Ham United. We did the full preview for the West Ham game uh, yesterday, so if you want to go and check that out, uh, you can you can do so on the channel. Um, it's the latest video on there. Um, but, yeah, interesting comments from Gary O'Neill today. Still... Very much looking up the table by the sounds of some of his comments. I think he knows that Wolves are in a very good position right now. But things could easily get better. And he seems fairly optimistic in regards to players coming back, I suppose. Uh, the big news is that really Craig Dawson and Huang Ki Chan uh, are both back in training. Uh, tomorrow may be a bit too soon for them, especially to start. But Gary O'Neill has basically said they will be assessed today after the training session to see if they'll, they're going to be in the squad and the group uh, for tomorrow's game against West Ham. Cunha is OK and doing well, um, really pressing on. Uh, of course, he got some minutes against Burnley on Tuesday, so it's going to be a massive, massive boost to have him back. And hopefully we do see him start, but who knows on the, on that one. But regardless, you know he's going to be a huge uh, player to have back. We've really missed not just Cunha. I mean, Cunha's probably the biggest part of it, but even obviously Neto, Juan Ki Chan, you know, when they're all fully fit and, and in the squad. But looking at the um, the, the latest transfer news, biggest one this week, Max Kilman are reportedly on the shortlist of Manchester United. This is going to be such an easy link to make for anyone either half-decent in English or anyone having a half-decent season in the Premier League. Of course, we've already seen Gary O'Neill linked with some sort of coaching role at Old Trafford. We've already seen Jao Gomez linked with a potential move there. And now it's Max Kilman. Um, obviously, the Wolves captain. Wolves rejected a number of um, offers from Napoli for him last season when they were looking to replace Kim Min Jai. Um, and Wolves rejected them, ended up keeping Max Kilman, ended up giving him the captaincy at the club. Um, so this is an interesting one. I can't see it coming to fruition, if I'm honest, but I think Wolves obviously value Max Kilman very, very highly. I think some fans all see it a little bit differently and say maybe the, the value of around £35 million is something that Wolves should maybe consider and cash in on um, this summer. But we'll wait and see. But at the, the moment, I think this is all very much talk, paper talk, Manchester United putting the feelers out, seeing what valuations they can get for certain players. And I have no doubt it's going to be a big overhaul at United this summer. I'd be quite surprised to see if any Wolves players do move there, but let's, uh, let's wait and see on that one. Goalkeeper rumours just seem to keep cropping up, don't they? Every time I do one of these video, see, videos, it seems like I'm bringing up another goalkeeper or talking about a new goalkeeper. This week, uh, reports in Spain are suggesting that Wolves have reportedly inquired about the current Las Palmas goalkeeper, Alvaro Valles. Now, it's funny because this rumour dropped right before the Burnley game on Tuesday. I was literally at Turf Moor when I posted about this on Talking Wolves. And Joe says had a fantastic game. So, uh, I mean, if Sar can continue with that level of performance that we saw at Turf Moor, then brilliant. But um, it's no, you know, no... No surprise really that these rumours and, and links are cropping up because it was just over 12 months ago where Wolves were publicly, it was said in, in the Express and Star, that Wolves were looking at goalkeeping options. Um, and we came very close to signing Gabriel Slalina, uh, the American lad, um, who ended up going to Chelsea, I think. And now Wolves are obviously looking at potentially moving Sar on as well. I, I don't know. So... All that, we'll have to wait and see. I think in an ideal world for Wolves, they'd have a younger goalkeeper in of, of high potential, possibly move Dan Bentley on um, and and maybe have a, an understudy to Saar for a year or so. But we'll, uh, we'll wait and see on that one. But uh, Alvaro Valles, at the moment, the latest goalkeeper name to be linked with Wolves. Uh, we had another um, link. It was from The Sun uh, earlier this week as well. Wolves are reportedly one of many teams keeping tabs on the Queen's Park Rangers centre-back, Jake Clark Salter. A lot of teams reportedly keeping their eye on him. Former Chelsea defender, former England under-21 defender as well. Uh, Clark Salter, um, playing for QPR. They're not, they're not having a fantastic season in the Championship, to be completely honest, but apparently he's been pretty good for them. Um, again, English player, something that's always going to be of interest to, to Premier League clubs, especially if players are doing quite well. Um, but no real valuations on this one and still very, very early days. But a lot of clubs were mentioned in this report. Wolves were just another name out there. So purely speculation, I would say, at this point. And probably one of the most interesting stories of the week is that Wolves have an announced uh, announced official partnership uh, with the Japanese J-League team uh, Shonan Belmare. 
this is quite interesting. Now, Wolves had, had said on their um, article that it's strengthening both clubs' exposure overseas with player and coach development. Uh, apparently, the link will focus primarily on academy football with players and coaches from both camps sharing experiences of top-level football in different continents and exchanging best practices with each other. And then information on talent pools in both countries will be shared while two clubs will co-work on the development of elite Asian players. Now, from day one, Fosun have wanted to find the next Asian superstar. And to a degree, they've had some, well, let's say mixed success. And I think that's, that is more than fair and probably more than generous. Huang Ki Chan has, has no doubt been the number one um, in, in the success for that. Obviously, already a fairly established player, but Wall signed him in. Took him a little while to, to get used to English football. But arguably this season, before his injury, really, really kicked on. And Wolves, not just on the pitch, but the market side of things, have, have hit the absolute jackpot with Juan Chan. With the absence and the departure of Raul Jimenez, who was bringing it all in from Mexico, Huang's now done it with the South Koreans, and it's absolutely huge for Wolves. Um, J Japan is, a, is an intriguing one at the moment, where there's a lot of talent, a lot of interest on it, a lot of more money is being pumped into Japanese football right now, and they're really kicking on at a national team level as well. So if Wolves can get their heads up on some of these teams and start looking at and be, start being able to sign or have tabs on young top Asian prospects before they move to Germany, is quite a popular one. We've seen them move to Italy um, and anywhere in Europe. If we can get them to come over to England, and um, obviously Wolverhampton Wanderers, then, then fantastic. So... Intriguing. I'm not fully. I'm not against this at all. Uh, but let's see how it works out over the next couple of week, uh, years or so. Uh, but Wars forming a partnership with Shown and Bel Mare. But guys, that is all for today's video. Hopefully, it's three points tomorrow at Molyneux against West Ham United. Do let me know your thoughts on that game and any of the news in the description down below. Enjoy the rest of your week and enjoy your weekend. And I'll see you all very very soon.